Wailing Hill Hall. Written and read by James Brannan. hissed eerily in the joshing gale as it tugged on me, trying to brush me over as I stood alone in the pitch blackness of the night. I only had my wits and a barley for company as I scanned my surroundings with it. Only a small periscope offered any kind of window into the abyss. I remember my earliest days on the underground, walking the lengths of never-ending tunnels, but this was beyond any tunnel I ever walked, the rail shining under my lamp's faint golden glow. To say these conditions unsettled me was an understatement. I pointed my bardic down the line, only to reveal common railway infrastructure and the lifeless ash tree which sat close to the line. Its skeletal branches began to strain under the immense forces of the wind. I gulped down my pride and resisted the frozen shudder I felt paralysing my body from running away. An hour or two had passed, and I felt my heart sink as I heard a blood-curdling cry from up the line. It was that of a young lady, say about twenty-something years old. I swung the crossing gates open and hurried up the line as fast as my body would physically allow me to.